In this video, I'm gonna try and teach you as quickly as possible how to set up dynamic remarketing campaigns in Google Ads platform. I'm gonna walk through everything live on camera and step by step, so stick around, watch the whole video, just in case you miss any of the nuances. With that being said, let's jump into it. So we just hopped into one of our client accounts here and we need to do a little bit of housekeeping before we go ahead and set up the campaign itself. So the first thing we need to do is go up to tools and settings and we need to go to this underneath the shared library column, we need to go into audience manager. Now we're in audience manager, on the left hand side, you will see your data sources. I want you to go ahead and open that up. And within here, we've got a collection of all the different things that we've got linked to our Google Ads account. And we just wanna go under the Google Ads tag and click details. Now, here, if you scroll down, you should have all the parameters. We want to check that you have the ID parameter in place. Without the ID parameter, you can't run dynamic remarketing. So if you haven't got that, go back to uh, whoever sets up your tracking, if you do it yourself, and you need to get the ID parameter added. Once you have it included, you'll start seeing numbers populating in here. Now, I think it has to be above 10% to run dynamic remarketing, obviously, the greater number of hits you have, the better. This client is not just an e-com focused client. They do many, many different things, hence why it's only around 11%. But if your sole purpose is for e-com only, I'd imagine it will be much, much higher. But once we've sorted that out, we wanna head back to home and we wanna go ahead and create a new campaign. Under the new campaign, I'm gonna go ahead and click sales, but feel free to do whatever you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the purchases of the account default goal for my conversion goal. Next, I wanna hit display. Now it's important to note, you can also run dynamic remarketing within Performance Max, however, you don't have as much control. So I'll leave that one up to you, what you want to do. But if it's just dynamic remarketing that you want to run, then display is perfectly fine on its own. I'll just put in 84.academy website here and I wanna name it dynamic remarketing. Keep it simple. Next, you wanna check your territories. I'm gonna go US and Canada. And now we wanna go down to more settings. And here is the important section. So go ahead, I add in ad rotation, scheduling, devices, whatever else you want to do, the things you would normally do when you're setting up a campaign. But for dynamic remarketing, you wanna make sure you come across to dynamic ads. You wanna open that one up. You wanna click the tick, use dynamic ads feed for personalized ads. And then you wanna go ahead and select a feed. If you want to run this dynamic remarketing for specific products only, you can go ahead and click the filter and you can add the filter in there. For me, I wanna keep this as generic dynamic remarketing campaign, so I'm gonna leave no filter at all. And as you'll see, when we hover over the question mark icon, dynamic ads let you show personalized content based on what people have viewed on your website or app. To show content for your website in these ads, set up a data feed. So again, you need to make sure you've got the ID parameters coming through and the data feed pulling through and functioning correctly. Everything else under more settings you can play around with, start, end dates, whatever it is you want, I'll leave it up to you. Next, we wanna go ahead and put our daily budget in. I'm gonna go and put $10. And we now need to decide on our bidding strategy. Now, I'd always recommend using a conversion-based goal. If you've got lots of products, then potentially using a conversion value. And if you wanted here, you could keep a T ROAS in place of around 300%. That way, you know the campaign won't spend budget unnecessarily. So for targeting, we want to go ahead and add remarketing audiences only. To do that, we wanna go into audience segments, adjust that, and we will find a remarketing audience to select. Now, lots of people will split this out. You can have one remarketing audience for 30 days, one remarketing, another ad group with a remarketing audience for 60 days and 90 days and so on. You can even go ahead, if you've got enough volume of traffic, to go and put split that by product type. It's entirely up to you. Test things and see how they go. Optimized targeting, because this is, we want to turn this off because it's a remarketing campaign only. With optimized targeting on, it's no longer a remarketing campaign. Now, any of the other stuff down here, I personally wouldn't go ahead and add as we want to keep it as broad as possible and we've already honed it in quite a lot by using a remarketing audience only. Click next. Here you want to go ahead and add in all of your assets and as you can see there's a lot of dynamic ads already populating here with some of the products and I've added no other assets into this at all. It's just pulling from the feed and showing other products that you can run. And you wanna go ahead and just populate all of these headlines, long headlines, descriptions, 
so on and so forth. Obviously the primary focus of this is going to be on the dynamic feed, which is already pulling through here in some of the examples, which is great. But we wanna go ahead and just add some images and stuff anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some random stuff in here. Please use branded imagery or imagery that is related to your brand only. Don't go ahead and use like generic images like this that I'm doing. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And once you've done that, just create the ad, click next, make sure everything is okay and just click publish campaign. Simple as that. And there you have it. The campaign is set up. Give it a couple days to start pulling in spend and you should start seeing conversions coming in soon. So just as I said, it's super, super simple. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and want to support us, then please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. We've got a bunch of links in the description with additional free and paid resources available. So please check them out. And if you've got any questions, the easiest place to contact me directly is in the 84 Academy Discord server. But I also try my best to respond to every comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh.